By all accounts, headline U.S. jobs data has been arguing for some time that rates should be a lot higher than where they are. And this is exactly why a report that once meant so much has lost a lot of its volatility appeal. Post-2008 crisis strategy has taken care of this, with the data benefiting from excessive monetary policy accommodation and government stimulus. And so the focus has shifted to other things. Market participants are more consumed with the bigger picture global macro developments, the world of politics, and of course, the Fed's every move. If NFPs come in strong, and if the unemployment rate dips some more, we aren't going to be getting any messages we haven't already received. Rates moving higher have nothing to do with this, as there are underlying risks still necessitating emergency accommodative policy. At the same time, if these headline prints disappoint, aside from some intraday volatility, they will only further justify the Fed's move back to a looser policy outlook. The one component in today's data that does have the ability to make more meaningful waves is the hourly earnings component, though this hasn't been able to do anything on that front as of yet. Hourly earnings are used as a leading indicator for inflation, and if inflation starts to shoot up, this would put the Fed in the most uncomfortable of positions, needing to contend with market pressures demanding ongoing accommodation and emergency market pressures that would pressure the central bank to be needing to think about a more restrictive policy track, something that would not bode well for overinflated record high U.S. stocks. As far as the currency implications go, the focus should be on the overall data and what it will do to the Fed's thinking. Any data that will force the Fed to need to be thinking less accommodative would fuel dollar demand both on yield differentials and flight to safety. Any data that can keep the Fed on its more accommodative course will likely have dollar bearish fallout. But again, with the jobs report meaning a lot less these days, all of this pre-event risk analysis becomes a lot less interesting. Breaking it down, the expectation is that NFPs will come in at 164k from 266k previous, the unemployment rate will hold steady at 3.5%, and hourly earnings will hold steady year on year but tick up month on month to 0.3% from 0.2% previous. That's all for now.